Make it big enough. We're talking about the next big Audi. We have this feeling we'd like the C-Post to be quite different, with more of a clear coupé look. If you ask me, we have to take a step forward with the A1, and Audi certainly prefers the show cars to be interpreted as closely as possible. You remember? The show car had this curved roof line as a USP. We've done what was expected of us, but we've achieved a certain amount of individuality as well. The A and C posts both have this dynamic character. And the B post too. I think we can say it gives the car a certain stance. I think that's important, and a touch bolder too. The way we see it, it makes the A1 more of a USP. Yes, at this point, for instance, we'll probably stick to a spoiler. We can see what it looks like if I take this line out. We'll certainly need the down thrust there, which means that a spoiler will be essential. The next topic is always the overall proportions, in other words, the relationship between the glass area and the body, so that we get the one-third to two-thirds effect that we want. But as I've already said, there's something very, very important that we mustn't neglect on the A1. Individuality is a must on this car. We've managed it inside the car, and if we can keep the A and C posts separate from the body, we shall get more individuality. And that would be worth having. Yes, and of course there's another point I wanted to discuss with you, the wheel arches. We'll certainly be emphasizing the wheels here. Not too boldly, because we want the surface to project a lot of feeling, but nonetheless with plenty of power and a strong three-dimensional effect. If you ask me, once again the front end is the key word. The short front overhang, as you have drawn it here, is absolutely essential. So I think we have to ask ourselves what we're going to do with the grille and the headlights. I think we should do something with the corners, so that we can develop the single frame theme some more. We're surely too static in this area. One solution could be to cut into the corners like this. But we could also try varying the width of the frame. That would mean that if the rings were perfectly positioned inside, we'd have quite a different look. Not far from a golden section. Of course, we have to bring in the headlights as well. They always give the surface the kind of dynamism we want and add all this strength to the single frame. We could cut them back slightly here too, to make their character and look as clear as possible. Here too I feel it's very important for the front of the car to be recognizable as an Audi. We ought to get a slight break into the outline of the headlamps. In other words, to take up this broad to narrow topic. And optimize it. And make it even more dynamic. Okay, Stefan. I'll pass these ideas on to the team and we'll work on them and have another meeting in, say, five or six weeks, okay? Yes, perfect. Thanks a lot.